Don, Don, Don! Ugh. Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad. We're here at the two and a half month mark of my Hyperdrive account, Nooch2 Hyper, where I, I pay for the Hyperdrive bundle and I've been refilling my crystals with 50 bucks every time I run out of them. So, this is what you can do two and a half months. We're at 1.45 million galactic power, and there's some fun and interesting things going on with the account. So let's jump right into that. Uh, for one thing, I'm working hard on my Imperial Troopers. You guys saw that this Relic Vader, that was done at the two-month mark, so it's been a couple weeks since that time. But if you look at my Imperial Troopers, I've really got these guys on the move. I got my Gear 12 Stark there. I've got General Veers. These guys are all Gear 11. Gear 11 Veers. Um, gear 12 Stark. That was a pretty easy Gear 12. He's the first one that popped up. Gear 11 Dark Trooper, but he's only five stars. I'm working on that farming. Um, gear 12, Gear 11, sorry, Grand Moff Gideon and Moff Gideon. So I've been able to get more Gideon shards along the way, like a lot more. Like, I'm not even sure where this deal is. It's about 50 extra shards. And I wonder if I, I'm not sure how I did that. I've been, I feel like I've been farming them at the same pace. I farm Gideon for a few more days. And you know what it is? I know what it is. You activate Gideon at the beginning of the game with 50 shards. Actually, the first few levels playing free to play, you actually activate Gideon. So there's your extra 50. So that's why I get more 50 more shards of Gideon. Okay. And then Piet is at 51 out of 85. We're moving forward. You know, if we look at this farming, 51 out of 85. I've got 185. Excuse me. 100 and. About 134, actually exactly 134 shards left for a 7-star Piet at 4 a day, a little over a month. So somewhere, somewhere around Christmas, I think I'll have all these Imperial Troopers at 7 stars and probably have them all Gear 12 or Relic. Piet is really the one that I want to Relic uh, because I need him for the Executor, so he'll be the probably the first one. And really this team, if you get Piet to Relic levels, you get with them a lot of speed on him. That is really what gets this team going, and, and at these levels, that's primarily what you need. So that's the primary thing that's going on with the account right now, the, the Imperial Troopers. But things are going to get interesting very soon. First, let's talk about Bounty Hunters, then I'll talk about a big thing that's about to happen on this account. I've got Boss at 26 stars, 74 more shards needed for a day. That's less than 20 days, so somewhere around early December, I'll have Bosk at 7 stars. How's his ship doing, by the way? We got the Houndstooth, 44 at 85. We're saying for a day there. That's about the same thing as Piet. So about a little, by the end of the year, I should have the Houndstooth at 7 stars as well. We're talking 3 or 4 months, guys, after the Hyperdrive. I'll have a 7 star Bosk. I'll have a 7 star Houndstooth. I'll have all my Imperial Troopers at 7 stars. My Bounty Hunters at 7 stars. And we talk about that 3 or 4 month mark. That's really important. Because about three and a half to four months is how long it takes you just to get to level 85 free to play. So by investing in the Hyperdrive account and making sure my crystals are filled at all times, I'm able to accelerate this, this time period. I'm, I'm knocking, we, we looked last time, I knocked about five and a half months off of my farm for my free to play account. So that's what we're looking at right now. At the three month mark, I'll take a look and see, we'll see if we've made any more progress there. I am nasally this morning. So I got my Dengar at seven stars now. Here's this bounty hunter team in Boba Fett. What we could take IG out of the main bounty hunter team. So once I get boss to seven stars, early December, about the second week of December, I'll be able to make my run at Chewbacca seven stars, and that's going to be a big deal. I'll just get this piece done. We'll get him to gear twelve, and then get him relic as fast as possible, and then we'll get to work on these rebels. These are the three main teams I'm working on: the troopers, the bounty hunters, and the rebels right now. Rebel, rebel, rebel. So we look at Commander Luke Skywalker. Han Solo will be seven stars here in another week, maybe week and a half. From uh, from the Rancor raid, Chewbacca will take the seven stars. Like I said, as soon as I get boss to seven stars, Chewbacca's next. Then we got to farm three PO and Chewie. I haven't really done daily farming in that because I don't have any room to do it at the moment. And then we're looking at our Ewoks. How are the Ewoks doing? 
I have not farmed uh, Chirpa and Wicket, and that's going to be a problem. It's going to hold me up. But I've almost got, I mean, I got Paplu and Low Grade, 241, 220. Making a lot of progress on them in the guild store. Ewok Elder, don't farm this guy. I've said it a bunch of times, don't farm this guy. You'll get him from Bronziums. So I'm getting pretty close to having him seven. Well, actually, he's, he's not that close. But I think that probably once I get everything done with, with my Imperial Troopers, my Bounty Hunters, I can get to work farming these the Chief Tripper and Wicket and really get on that. Get 3PO and get that, that CLS Rebel Team rounded out. Now, what is one more thing that's happening? I don't have any characters left to farm. Let me show you my Geos, my Geonosians here. Geonosians are going to take a little bit of a hit for larger guilds as they enter the new territory battles. But for smaller guilds, I'm in 230 million, which sounds like it's right on the cusp of being ready to get into the new territory battle. Uh, we'll see what we do. But I've got all these guys at seven stars, but you notice level one, level one, level one, one, 35. Still need to activate the seven star because I'm just low on, I, what are my, my credits right now? I could pay for it, but I'd rather wait because I can't even gear them up. So that's another team. As soon as, when I finish my troopers, I finish my bounty hunters, I, I get to work on my CLS squad. I'll get to work gearing that geo squad as well. So that'll give me four teams. Troopers, CLS, Geonosians, uh, Bounty Hunters. I'll have Darth Vader on the side for some offense. I, I need to get Kylo Ren Relic. That's that's going to be a stopper on defense for me. CLS will probably end up being a defensive team for me. But let's talk about the one big thing that's coming with the account. Boys and girls, that one big thing is... Da -da 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 I'll have the Negotiator by end of the week. Right now it's at 130 out of 145. I've got enough of these get two currency, uh, Mark II Guild Event tokens to get it to 140 right now. 2,700, 140 right now. We're gonna finish our first, let me look at Territory War Rewards. So I need, that's 2,700, that's 274. I need like another 1,100. I don't think I, I think I need two Territory Wars to get that. Um. Rewards for my guild is at about 230. Right here. I'm gonna get uh, 650. So I need two territory wars, which we start the new territory war today. It's gonna be it's less than a week. We're talking like Thursday, right? Thursday or Friday, I will have negotiator at seven stars. Or excuse me, <laughs> back up. Back up. Whoa! I'll negotiate or activate it at five stars. I'll get it activated at five stars. I'm trying to save up as much currency as possible. If I look at my ships, um, and I'll tell you about the, I'll tell you the impact. Negotiator is going to impact everything tremendously, and I'll show you that fleet here in a minute. But I'm saving up the uh, capital ship currency. I'm trying to save. So where am I here? I got one point. I need to save some of this, although I'll get some of these credits in the event. But as far as this currency. Right now, I can't even look at that. Look at this. I got 298 of these saved, so I can gear, I can level up as much as possible with that team right off the bat. Now, if you look at my Galactic Republic, this is where it really comes in with my Galactic Republic ships. First of all, Houndstooth is in that starting lineup. I'm gonna start climbing as soon as I get that thing and have it leveled up. I'm gonna start climbing back up. I've been in, I've been hovering in the mid-teens to 20 in ship and fleet arena because I just can't, people have really big houndstooths I can't get through. That's going to change in a hurry. So along with the houndstooth, I'll have Galactic Republic. And these are your five right here. Your Anakin's, your Anakin Starship, um, Plo Koon, Umbar and Starfighter, Ahsoka, and Clone Sergeant. These are the ships we've got to get leveled up. I need to get this thing to five stars, which I'm way, way off of. Right now, though, even with this 20% health, I'll have 40% health and protection recovery. I can get to where I dispel all debuffs. And I, that has to be a... Can I not click on it? Yeah, I need a five-star ship. And where do I find this ship? That, you know, so that's that, that Cantina. Maybe I need to switch that because I've been doing all Cantina energy right now. I will show you. So anyway, we'll talk about it in a minute. I've got Umbar in here at six stars. I'm farming it every day. Uh, fives is gear gear eight. And where are we here? Uh, Ahsoka, her ship is at six stars. She is at gear nine or gear eight. Clone Sergeant is gear eight as well. 
There he is. And his ship is already at seven stars. Oh, no, I thought I had that at seven. Six stars. And Anakin, four stars. Now, this is actually a pretty effective place to have him at the level I am in the game. But four stars. He is gear eight. He's only five stars. I need to work on Anakin a little bit. And, uh, and finally, there's, uh, well, where's Plo Koon? I already looked at Plo Koon. Plo Koon's got some work, but that's fine. That fleet is going to help me climb in Fleet Arena and get more crystals every day. I've really been lacking those crystals. I'm only getting like 100 for being down in the 15 to 20 range. I can get up to 200 to 300 a day if I can climb up to the top of Fleet Arena every day. I've brought those characters into here. There's Ahsoka, Fives, Clone Sergeant. There's Anakin. So that I can start gearing them up. I need to work on their gear while I'm also working on this other stuff. So there's a lot of competing priorities at the moment. I really think I'm going to start prioritizing these Galactic Republic fleet, uh, this Galactic Republic fleet team to really get the gear up to make sure I can climb in fleets. That's going to be really important. So really good things on the way by the end of the year. So by the end of this year, I should have, I'll have a Relic boss. I'll have a, a Gear 12 Imperial Trooper team and a Relic Piet. I will have a CLS team that's on its way with Chewbacca, Han and Luke, and probably Chupio at some star level. And I'll have Negotiator. I think I might get it to six stars by the end of the year. Maybe. I'll have Negotiator in Fleet Arena. And if we look at my Fleet Arena, let's pop in there real quick. Arena table. Um, Fleet Arena. Again, this guys, this is two and a half months. If you were on a free-to-play account right now, I'd only be at like level 78, 79, something like that. If you look at the ranks in here, you see right now, where was I? Um, I don't know where it was, but there aren't there. There's a there is a malevolence. There ain't no negotiators in here for boys and girls. So when I get this in a few days, I will be I may be the first person in my fleet arena with a negotiator. And you can thank my guild for that. The fact that they let me play here. I'm at 48 right now. Wow, that's that's lower than I said. I, I'm struggling. Um, but when I get the negotiator, I should be able to climb up. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I didn't even look at my General Kenobi, did I? How is he doing? Do I have him activated, right? I haven't even really thought about that. I need to. Uh. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Da 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 da. Ah. I need 25 more shards. That means... Good night. Good night. I wasn't even... Um... How many... I'm getting six shards. That's... Five more of these. I need five more of these to activate General Kenobi. We're doing about two a week. So that's going to be like... Two and a half weeks. <laughs> Crushing your hopes and dreams. Let's change the music. It needs to be sadder and more chill. Ugh. Ugh. You know, give me back the day when we weren't simming that. And I could really just hammer it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad now. I'm so sad. All my hopes and dreams crushed right here in this video. Well guys, hopefully when I come back to you with my three month update, I'll have the negotiator activated, but it's... That General Kenobi's holding me back. I feel like I've been cutting open fish in the deserts of Tatooine for four years, giving up on life. And then getting beat by Darth Vader in a fight. We don't know why Darth Vader walked off. And then Reva's tracking me for some unknown reason. Because she's mad at me because of Vader. And uh, I don't know. Alright. Well guys, I'm, I'm excited. But now I'm a little disappointed. But great things are... This account, by the end of three months. By the end of the year, three plus months. We're going to have a lot of great things. Uh, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half plus months. Short of four months. Short of the time it just takes you to get to level 85. We're going to have a lot of great things going on with this account. So that's all we got. That's Nooch2 Hyper at two and a half months. Guys and girls, have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Don't feel too sad for me. 
let me know in the comments if you saw me get there and uh, give me a little give me a little, little pep in my step I need it so have a great day and always remember nooch too good <laughs>